The fire and explosions that took place following Ukrainian Army's kamikaze drone attack at the oil base in Russia's Rostov region continue for the fourth consecutive day. Images of the fire have been circulated by local residents on Russian Telegram channels. The fire currently covers an area of 10,000 square meters. 20 fuel tanks have burned. A firefighting train and aviation are involved in extinguishing the fire. As many as 42 firefighters have reportedly been injured, 15 of them were hospitalized. Hot and windy weather hinders fire extinguishing operations. Ukraine is close to closing the cauldron on the Syme River in the Kursk region, where up to 3,000 Russian soldiers could be surrounded, writes BUILD analyst Julian Ropk. As BUILD reminds, since August 16, Ukrainian troops have been blowing up bridges across the Syme River in the north of the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. This could cut off the Russian Armed Forces Group, since the area is surrounded by Ukrainian territory from the west and south. Russia is organizing pontoon crossings and an air bridge in response, and is also defending the remaining passage in the east. The day before, the Ukrainian armed forces captured the villages of Snagist and Apanasovka there, and they are five kilometers away from the Syme River and the closure of the cauldron. At the same time, according to Ukrainian data, between 2,000 and 3,000 Russian soldiers remain inside the cauldron, the publication writes. As Ropk writes, the state border between Russia and Ukraine in the south and west of the cauldron is prepared for defense, but it will be difficult for the Russians to defend themselves if the Ukrainian armed forces attack from the east. In addition, in the west, the Ukrainians have already crossed the border and taken control of a small section of Russian territory of 15 square kilometers up to the Syme River, where the Otroba farmstead is located. The Russians now have a simple choice, either fight and defend this territory, or retreat. Apparently, both options are fatal for them, Ropk said. At the same time, he notes that this battle is not decisive, since it is unknown how many forces Ukraine has left. Mykola Malamuz, General of the Ukrainian Army and former head of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Ukraine, believes that Putin is deeply afraid of his own troops turning against him, so he relies only on proxies and special services. He shared his opinions with Espresso TV. The enemy is currently disorganized in the Kursk region. Unexpected attacks in areas where the enemy is unprepared and unable to mount a strong defense not only destabilize their military but also unsettle the Russian leadership. The Kremlin is now relying on highly trusted individuals because Putin is deeply fearful. He is haunted by the ghost of Prigozhin and fears a repeat of that situation. He worries that his own military might turn against him. That is why he depends on special services, proxies and the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service. However, they lack control and are not equipped for this task. The Ukrainian Defense Forces offensive in Kursk has demonstrated this, Malomuz explained. According to the general, Russia is in chaos, trying to determine how to halt the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive in the Kursk region. They understand everything. They are pulling together some troops and have created a coordination headquarters that does not even have a single command. Now the Kremlin is trying to find the generals responsible for the failure of the defense of the Kursk region. 
Moreover, the troops that they are now deploying to the Kursk region have no experience in combat. In particular, from Kaliningrad, from other distant regions of the Russian Federation, and of course, conscripts. We have all seen how their conscripts are fighting. That is why they will be forced to redeploy combat units from the hotspots in Ukraine. However, this will not help them. They still do not have a unified command and do not know what to do, he added. The latest batch of nonsense from Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko directly hints that Russian leader Vladimir Putin is already begging for negotiations. This was stated by the head of the Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine, Andriy Kovalenko, on Telegram. According to him, Lukashenko's statements clearly contain narratives that Russia has allegedly already achieved its goal, so the war can already be ended. If we translate everything that Lukashenko said into human language, it is a signal that Putin is already begging for negotiations. Because Lukashenko's long speech implies that his goal has already been achieved, Kovalenko wrote. Earlier, Alexander Lukashenko said that the goal of the special military operation has already been achieved. According to him, the Kursk operation is allegedly an attempt by Kiev to push Russia to use weapons, including nuclear weapons.